Hi everyone, this is Nick with ASUS here on the ASUS North America YouTube channel and we're here to check out the PQ321Q monitor. So this is the world's first 4K consumer monitor um, that's available for purchase. So this is really going to be for those power users, whether um, those gamers that want the absolute highest resolution and the lowest pixel density, um, or maybe photo or video editors um, that want to be able to edit that video at its native resolution. Um, so one of the big things about this monitor is it is completely plug and play right off the bat. You have two HDMI, one DisplayPort cable. You only need one cable. Um, you can use any of those HDMI or Display Ports that you want. But one of the big things that I think people are going to want to know as soon as they get a hold of this monitor and one of the tips that we're going to go through here today is how to enable 60 hertz at that 4K resolution. Um, so today we're going to go through Intel Haswell integrated GPU, we're going to go through NVIDIA GPUs and an AMD GPU and show you how to enable that. Okay, so on the Intel side here, I'm going to open the graphics properties control panel. I'm going to click, click on display and here it's going to show me our resolution which is 3840 by 2160 and then down here right below is the refresh rate. So we can see that it's currently at 30 hertz and there is no option to go higher. So to get to 60 hertz here, what we're going to do is enable MST, which is called multi-stream transport and it's in a display port feature and it allows you to combine multiple streams into one uh, on this monitor. So we're going to go into the monitor menu here and under setup, we're going to have display port stream down here. So we'll go down to display port stream and we see that it's currently set to SST. So it's currently set to single stream transport mode. So we're going to change that to multi stream. And then we will get back down to set. When you hit set, it is going to reboot the monitor. So we'll wait for it to come back on. Okay, so now we see that the screen has come back up and we are now in MST mode. So we can see a little bit of oddity down here at the bottom of the screen. We can see some things are replicated, maybe the system tray is a little off or maybe we have multiple taskbar icons. Um, what we, what we want to do about that is we go back into the Intel graphics control panel. We're going to go back into the display section. And under this little arrow on display we have one called multiple displays. We're going to go ahead and select that and then under display mode we have an option called collage. So exactly what it sounds like, it's going to give you the option to put those two displays together in a collage. So we'll select that and hit apply. And now we can see that we are at one single 3840 by 2160 resolution. So let's go back to display settings here and we can see that we now have a 60 hertz, hertz refresh rate available at that 3840 by 2160 resolution. And there we go on the Intel side. Okay, here we are now with an AMD card in the system. Any AMD HD Radeon 7000 series and up will support this 4K um, through the multi-stream transport. We've already enabled the MST on the monitor and we've already installed the AMD drivers on the system. So, once that's done, we just need to open up the Catalyst Control Center here. On one of the side options, you're going to have an AMD Ifinity multi-display, and you can create an Ifinity display group. So let's go ahead and click on that. We can click on Identify, and it'll show us uh, both the panels here that the MST has split the monitor into. We'll go ahead and click on one and continue. On this next page here, we have what kind of grouping we want to create. Do we want to create two displays one by two in a vertical sense, or do we want to go two by one in a horizontal sense? So we want to go horizontal. Let's click that, click continue. And then here we can see that we are all on one big resolution again. Um, if you do have, if it's split around for some reason, or maybe it's backwards, you can click on arrange. And it's going to ask you to click on which side is blue. So obviously the left side here. And we're going to go ahead and click done. And then apply. And then everything will be configured. And you are at 60 hertz at 3840 by 2160 resolution. OK, so now we have uh, an NVIDIA card in the system. Uh, more specifically, a GTX 780. 
Now we're installing the NVIDIA driver. Uh, the monitor is still in SST mode, so we haven't turned it over to MST yet. And uh, this is version 326.01. Uh, you'll be able to go to NVIDIA's website or geforce.com and go ahead and download the driver once the monitor is out there. NVIDIA will have it available on their website. Um, you can see that our installer has now finished. The very unique thing about on the NVIDIA side here is when we're going to go ahead and set up the 4K resolution at 60 hertz, it's actually going to auto-recognize. So NVIDIA already has a multi-panel display technology called Surround, which uh, supports a minimum of three panels. Um, so the two panels isn't built in like it is on the AMD side, but what NVIDIA has done is auto-recognize that this 4K monitor is in MST mode and then automatically take care of the rest for you. So all you're going to need to do is install the drivers, enable MST mode, and then that'll be it. So let's go ahead and close out from this driver install and enable the MST mode to get our 60 hertz. And when the screen comes back here, we can see that um, the mouse movement is already a little bit more fluid. And then if we open up the NVIDIA control panel and we go over to change resolution, we can see that we are at 3840 by 2160 at 60 hertz. Okay, so now we've set up uh, Intel iGPU from Haswell, we've set up AMD, and we've set up NVIDIA. So that's going to be it as far as how to set up your 60 hertz at, four, at the 4K resolution. The one last thing I'm going to leave you, just because I've had a lot of people come around at, in the office, up behind me at my desk, like, hey, that monitor is awesome, but the icons are way too small. I can't see anything. I can't read anything. One of the very simple things that you can do, and this works similar to how it works in most web browsers, is you can hit down the, hold down the control key on the keyboard and then scroll the mouse wheel up, and that'll change the up or down to get smaller or bigger, and then that will control your icon sizes. So you can easily kind of scale up, and there you go. Okay, so that's about going to wrap it up for this PQ321Q monitor, the world's first consumer 4K monitor. I hope that you've enjoyed this little intro slash tutorial on how to get things running to your liking. If you enjoyed this video, you can go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments or want to see something specific, please be sure to leave it below. And as always, thanks for watching.